We had very good uh, attendance. Uh, we had planned on 1,200, and I think we got uh, uh, over that uh, even uh, after the first day of registration. We don't have the final numbers yet. We get a lot of walk-ins, but it's over 1,200 participants. The um, exhibitors hall was sold out, so that was a, a good good outcome because we had more stalls than we usually get. So it was very good attendance for both uh, individual attendees and the industry who's participating in the exhibit hall. I, I like to come here every year if I can, and uh, primarily for the people, you know, it's see the, the reports of the projects that have just been completed. Uh, people always have, you know, great slides and a lot of information about how their job went and the challenges. Lessons learned uh, is something that's hard to get sometimes, but if you come to these, you can ask some questions and talk to people and really get the truth and uh, understand what the real challenges were on the projects. Uh, this event summed up all the industry players, contractors and clients and the consultants, uh, primarily to share information. I think for me, I've been coming to these conferences for 20 years and when I first started, it was I was wide-eyed and, and learning and absorbing all of this information. I think at this stage of my career, uh, and, and maybe for all of us, we're giving back a little bit. We're, we're presenting papers and sharing our experiences and and it's gratifying to see some of the younger staff coming out of the Colorado Schools of Mines and, and other places and, uh, and, and I see them as myself, you know, yeah, absorbing right. information and that's what it's about. Anytime you build a large infrastructure project, you're going to get a lot of concern in the communities and you really have to go out, communicate to them what to expect, educate them on the project and very much educate them on what it's like to construct the project. Uh, this conference is more construction oriented. But the real issue is political. And if you're transparent about it, the public will actually get on side with you. So that's actually the philosophy that Doug McDonald had in the 2002. I want to tell the public what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, that we have a better process, and you can expect changes. We really have to realize that while we know what an acre of land costs and we know air rights have a certain value, there's a market for those things. We have never established a market for underground space, so there is no cost associated with it, no value, and you cannot do a trade-off with above ground versus below ground. That means that the owners of underground space, particularly in urban environments, have a job to do, both to establish the market for underground space and to properly zone their subsurface space for best use. We decided it would just be great for the industry, for the United States tunneling industry, to get our story out there, to not just the United States, but to the world. It goes back to the beginning of tunneling in the United States. So it goes back to the you know, like early 1800s, all the way through what's happening right today. Our ATC is, is every two years. The next one will be in 2019 in Chicago, Illinois.